Oh, that's a pretty boy. You ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. So this is what we're uh, connecting today. Uh, technically, they used to have a radiator here, but I believe it cracked because ice. So I guess they tried to uh, find one for a while. They couldn't find one. Uh, technically, uh, we're just going to switch it over to just a regular uh, baseboard heater, copper. And since uh, technically both pipes, this is a loop, right? So one comes in, one shoots out. Uh, for this one, the pipe's going to have to go like this. It's going to have to go up, back over, and then down in here. Okay, so he's training the system right now. All I did right now was make some pilot holes. Uh, the good thing is we got this big old baseboard here, so it's able to accept the whole thing right away with some regular guy wall screws. I just made some uh, pilots. Oh, and then I put uh, this one right here is the one that goes in the front. So I just put it down there as, just to give me a space so it's not too much to the ground, right? So you see? Uh, I'm going to just nail it in, and then I'm going to start figuring out what's going on with here because it's got to just connect. Yeah, you got to pull it off so you can see. That's just to help you start it. And that's it. Don't, don't go too much. You can take it through it. In the second line here. So this line right here, technically, once we get eight feet there, up, back, that line ends up kind of almost lining up with this one right here. We're trying to eliminate the number of connections. This one, right? Say, okay. Yeah, just yeah. so you guys uh, can see the things that might or might not go wrong. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. Kelly hollered away. Boom, right here. And then technically, we gotta start preparing the, the pipe. Ya okay. está, no tanto, eh? Hold it. That's good. Y el otro lado. Oh. Technically, that's still good. I mean, the, the solder go in there. But either way, I'm going to clean up all the pipes and then I'll, I'll show you guys how it looks like all set up ready to be soldered. So technically, this has a pipe already built in in order to accept the loop back. So it makes the little installation a little bit easier. And yeah, this is the guy. Oh, pero ahorita que entrar aquí adentro. Oh, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on that. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, And then we're just going to line it up back with the holes that were already made. Uh, I'm going to take this one out, obviously, so it's not hard to get out. All right, so we screwed it back in in the same uh, holes. I took this out, obviously, and I just lift it up and match the hole and drill it in. And then this is the end cap. So this is how much space technically we have. So this pipe right here could either be here, it could be here, it could be here. We have we have what they call play. So that being said, over there we got no play, it has to go exact. So we're gonna do that side first and then uh, wherever this ends up, we'll, we'll wrap it up right there. All right, this is where this one comes in. Me, uh, well, I don't know if I'll use it, but me, I, I like using this uh, one right here. Me personally, it's in there tight. Okay, so this is the one that I use. And then I, I was thinking about using this white one or, or gray one, but I, I opted out and I figured I used the, the one that I always use. I use the blue one. So technically you could tell where, where my joints uh, start in previous connections. But we're gonna start with this one. And this one, this will probably be the top one. 
We'll see. Or maybe the bottom one or the skin could be the top one. We'll see. If you had a pipe, puedes poner un couple en aquí, dejar el, el tubo largo en el ojo, se detiene solo. So this is our first pipe right here. A ver, don't apriete este, wey. This one right here is going to go to the bottom one. Este va a conectar al de abajo, ¿no? Este es el día. Ahorita te digo cómo se hace la transición desde... De ese a ese. And this is the end cap that goes over here. Right here. Oh. So I'm, I'm gonna draw these out real quick. Okay, so we did this one right here. And then this is another one that technically used to have in the, in the bag. Get this on. Okay, and then technically you see how this side is going to be a little sharp. If you can, uh, clean it up on, on just the last touch with this. See it cleans it up. Same thing with this one. So this, with this one, I hold the pipe. So when I twist, the, the bottom one doesn't come out, just the top one. Okay, this one I'm gonna put a coupling and then you'll see why. But this one is gonna connect to this top one. Okay, so this is gonna be after the copper right here. I mean the brass. You can play the brass right now. This is a three quarter gas coupling. So it's gonna be brass, then this guy, then the 90 this way. I cut it off real quick, put it in the drill. That way. Nice and fast. So let me see the one. Okay. Yeah, there's That's 10. It. That's it. Same with these. No sé, pero voy a dar una pasada más. Siempre doy un poquito de la pasada. Was that's it. All right, while this one cools down, uh, we're gonna work on these two 90s right here. There's gonna be one 90 here, one 90 here, and whatever pieces in between. So we'll work on that while that cools down. I should have brought some water. All right, so this will be the right side, two 90s. Y nomás necesitamos uno y medio. 
What do you mean? So this one right here is gonna go in here. You see how it's already switched to receive? Yeah, I'll show you a, tr a trick. Yeah, like if it's a little hard to get in. I'll show you a trick. Mira, no, quita esta. Levántala para arriba y sácala. ¿Esta ya? Sí. Sácala para allá. Échala para acá. Detiene la hil. Espérame. Oh, Déjame. Detiene la Pero más cerquita, ¿no? Para que esté más macizo. ¿Así? Ok. Pero yo diría que le detengas aquí para que esté macizo o no que es que haya Oh, atrás. ok, ok. Ok. Pero es que no entra el tubo. Sí. ¿Dónde está que? Sí. So uh, we're, we're going to work on this real quick, but I'm just showing you guys what's going on. Alright, so here we are with an update. Update. So technically, we put the whole stick on this side, eight feet. Uh, we ended up putting the heater on top of this uh, shoe. The same thing over here. Uh, the, right now it looks dirty, but I'll clean it up. You know. Uh, I'll give it a little sanding. But at the end of the day, this guy goes into here. This is the brass in between. Uh, brass in between. This one goes on the bottom one. And then I made the holes here, and then this is the top one. I'll do the ends once we once we get there. But for right now, the next one is technically the back room. And we're gonna have to cut it. So it's dirty over. Let me show you guys how I cut this real quick. See what I'm saying? Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna do the left side right here. We're just gonna cut it flush with this one right here, and it's just gonna connect two 90s and whatever the pieces in between. And then over here, uh, I cleaned it off a little bit, just a little bit. Alright, so here's the update right now. Uh, it's, uh, I think, one o'clock exactly. Uh, the first one is 100 in, completely 100% in. I guess this pipe, you can see it, which is fine. Same thing, this they, they can clean later. I mean, ideally, we, we would like for them to be clean, but eh, it is what it is. Main thing is that it works, and there's no leaks. This is the second one. Second one, same thing. Same thing. Technically, this should be up. Okay. Yeah, same thing. <clears throat> so technically, that's number two. And then the third one, we're gonna work over here in the bathroom. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 but this is the next one, the bathroom right, right here. And this one we had to cut down, obviously, kind of had to cut it down shorter. But uh, this is the update of what, uh, what it's like to be in the HVAC business. So this is how I line up the, uh, hold on. I slide these up until they hit. Right there, and this one get too much and uh, try to trace around it and then same with the top one
you see. This is a rough, it doesn't have to be perfect. The main thing is just try to get that hole in the center. And then uh, we'll widen it up. Wide enough so that we have enough play. So this one, I'll hold this pipe so it doesn't twist. And then with this one, I can technically, I'm gonna just connect it from right here because we're running out of pipe anyways. I put brass in between anytime I transition from one metal to another metal. So that's black iron that are going to brass. And then this would be copper, continue. Technically it'll be uh, this guy right here. And then brass in between separating the metals. So this bottom one will be this one, and then this one is gonna have to go over and connect to this one. This one right here uh, is gonna have to go to the top one. This guy right here. We'll figure out how it'll go, but it, it's gonna go up there at the end of the day. All right, so this is the final update real quick. Uh, it's the afternoon already. We're working on the bottom one real fast. Uh, these are the two pipes right here. Upstairs, all three of them are done upstairs. And just these two are left. That one and this one. This was the old one. It froze and it cracked. So this is the last one right here. Yeah, and then we're calling it a day. I'm hoping by 7, 8 o'clock we can be out of here. But this is uh, so far. All right, so this one, <clears throat> we're gonna have to chop off this last piece right here. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna leave the female end on, on that one over there. It has a female end. Uh, I just marked the aluminum fin here. And technically, uh, I just cut it with this real quick. Just enough, not, not too many, just enough to be able to put a copper elbow in there. You see how right here it got kind of, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It kind of got dented or smudged. I'll cut that again just to make sure we got a perfect round. All right, quick update. Uh, this is why that uh, headlamp that I have is good because you see how it's really dark in here? It's, it's, it's dark, there's no light. There's no light. Uh, this is the last one, number five. And technically we're almost there. It's almost seven o'clock. Uh, we're almost 11 hours in. And these are the last few connections here. And then I'm gonna turn it on and let's pray for no leaks and fill up the system and call it a day. 
You see how the coupling is turning? That means that the top fitting is tight, that bushing is tight, and now it's turning the coupling. So usually I, I turn until that thing starts moving. Okay, una vuelta más. This one is gonna go on, on, on this one right here, the bottom one. Ahí está. Aquí viene el agua ya. ¿Le van para arriba? Sí, va para arriba. ¿Ya viste? Mira. Ahí está el agua tirada. Pero habla en un agujero ahorita le abrimos uno aquí arriba. Deja el agua aquí. Ay, guys, so. Oh man, it's already like almost like 10 o'clock, man. So let me give you guys a quick update of what's happening. All right, so we finished around eight. Uh, I go downstairs and I turn on the water and no water is going inside the system. And uh, it, it ended up being a clogged pipe. So not only was the clogged pipe, the valve was clogged also. So uh, we ended up fixing that real quick. I had to go to Home Depot real quick and then just, uh, man, we don't even got no light anymore. Just, this is new. Just this piece right here, I fixed it, right? <clears throat> and supposedly when I got here, the house was kind of warm. So I, I don't know if they were dry firing it or, or what, man. But anyways, uh, now that I, I'm able to fill up the water, remember, no one's been able to fill this up with water for a long time. Now that we fill up the water, now we got a lot of gushing water on, on this corner of the house. You can't see, but there's a lot of gushing, right? So obviously I can't, I don't think I can turn the heat on right now. Huh? So these are the pipes right here. Ya viste, Mira, No, ahí porque necesitas que ver dónde van porque hay un software aquí atrás y si van el software. Oh, okay. Entonces aquí derecho la otra. Sí, otro, ah, no más para Yo tengo uno en el carro si no tienes. No, yo no tengo escalera. Uh oh, oh look in this Yeah, so they got this soffit here. So I, I don't know if maybe the pipes go up and go inside the soffit. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, I'll keep you guys updated, man. This ended up being a nightmare. Va para arriba. Va para arriba. Todo sigue liqueando, pero va para arriba. No, no serán los de este que están aquí arriba. Es que hay un rallador ahí. A lo mejor. Se abre un cuadro, ven, para ver si te la licó está arriba ahí. ¿Están secos? No. ¿Mojados? Yeah, we're trying to see if the pipes are wet or dry. That way we can get a feel for if uh, the hole is above or below. De ahí creo que viene para acá, ¿no? Ah, ábrele ahí, Igor, ahí. Tenemos que ir más arriba, te dice. Tengo otra escalera, Kansas. Alcanzamos. Alright, so technically it's already midnight. Uh, the company's heading home. This is Lakeshore Drive and this is downtown. If you guys are not familiar, I'm from Chicago, obviously. And uh, for that guy, at the end of the day, I also tested the boiler and, and it looks like it's not even operational. Uh, he's got that cracked pipe behind the walls. I already talked to him, and I, I think we're going to end up changing that uh, whole system out, too, and fixing that pipe. So that'll be part two, but this is uh, life of the HVAC technician. And I, I got my girls over there waiting for me. But yeah, this is Chicago, guys. 
even though I'm, uh, I live up here, I, I, I would I would rather be here than anywhere else, guys. But either way, uh, thanks for watching, and, and stay tuned for part two. It'll probably be the next day or the day after.